about a seven to eight hundred meter run to the first turn so he's got plenty of time to get across and he looks very very well around here he, he's not sweating up and uh, he's very relaxed at the back here another horse that come around very good was uh, salivate the horse of larry castis he looks very well and he trotted around here um, very very good mate uh, you look very relaxed there with uh, long eyes and a long rain a uh, nice quiet mount you're on today yeah just as well i'm glad the clerk of the course boys didn't uh, stir him up because i'm not used to riding long <laughs> you look very comfortable and so does the netty. Uh, I think uh, uh, one of Theo Green's old horses, I think, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, so tip. That's so, right. So tip, that's exactly right. Righto, mate, uh, tell us a bit more about the horses behind the barrier there. Well, number six horse, he's sweating up quite bad around here, um, Ken. Um, he, he, he's played up quite a lot, so um, it doesn't help his chances at all. That's Magic Road. Magic Road. Golden Cocktail, he's a lovely looking horse. The only trouble is he hasn't got very good form on rain affected going and uh, he's starting to sweat up a bit. I'll tell you, the temperature's dropped a lot around here, so it's going to help these runners later in the day, you know, the fillies and that, because they normally do sweat up. And before the last race, it was very hot, but with the rain and the, the, the wind, it's really starting to cool down a bit. Mate, uh, that's Big Gabby we've got in screen now, but can you see Star of Dancer number two or Pillar of Salt in the Naturalism Colours number three? How are they looking? Yeah, well... Pull of salt looks very, very good. He's not sweating much, and he's very, very relaxed around here. Um, no doubt he's the one to beat. The number two horse, I just can't find at present. Um, I'll find him, though, for you. He's in those colours of Bruce Wallace, the blue Yeah, here white. he is. He's with the clerk of the course, and he's walking around here good, and um, he's not sweating up much. He's pretty relaxed, and do you think you can win, Grant? Well, uh, Pull of... Grant thinks he can win anyway. I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were talking to Grant Cooksley, Shane. Yeah, he thinks he can win. Well, he certainly rode the last one, Dane Wynn, I think, uh, one of your stables, Bobby Thompson. I reckon you want to get back on him. Yeah, I would have been on him uh, today, and he's a very promising horse, and he's probably going to be a bit better next preparation. Solovit looks very, very good in condition, Ken, around here. He's a big, strong horse, and uh, he's going to find the long line very strongly with Larry Cassie at the young. He's with the clerk of the course there in centre screen. He's the grey horse in the green colours and the spotted cap. Uh, he got to the line well at Rose Hill last start. Shane, you're doing a fine job there. Thank you. Uh, they're starting to go in now, Ken. <laughs> OK, thanks, Shane. Time for us now, if they're going to the barrier, for the man to call them in, the ace caller, Johnny Tapp. Good on you, Ken. Yeah, much cooler, as Shane said. I'm even aware of that up here in the broadcasting box. It was quite uh, steamy <laughs> earlier on, and the temperature has dropped uh, quite a number of degrees. Now, here they come. Baker's Boy, one of the first up into line, ahead of Espinosa. Val Dupree is now going in. There's a rightless one there. Grant Cooksley has dismounted from Star Dancer. Espinosa stable mate, Biz Lotto carried the same colours in the first race today, was well supported, in fact started favourite, but never gave a yelp at any stage of the race. I'll tell you one that'll stand out here, Candos, he's a dark brown horse, almost black, and he's got a big white blaze and four white feet. He's by Grosvenor, Grosvenor was uh, similarly coloured and similarly marked. Now going up is Sea Captain ahead of Big Gabby, waiting on Spliced. Magic Road is down the track a bit with Pillar of Salt, so we have three horses to move in. And that rain is just hanging about. With a very short, uh, sharp shower a short time ago. In fact, one of the fashion uh, parades was in progress on a big dais out in the open. The gentleman's section was underway at the time and umbrellas popped up everywhere like, like mushrooms after rain. Now Spliced goes into line and that leaves Pillar of Salt and they'll be all set and ready for dispatch in the Carbine Club Stakes. Beautiful trophy here to the winning owner, a statuette of the mighty Carbine, manufactured uh, by a New Zealand company called Crown Lynn Potteries. Now Espinosa, the inside runner, and they're about set and ready for dispatch in the Carbine Club Stakes. They look good now. Light flashing on top and they're ready to break. Stand by for a start. Start of Bill Cooper onto his rostrum. Star Dancer faces up well for Grant Cooksley. Pillar of Salt stands perfectly. Should catch them. All in, Bill. Ready. A couple of jockeys yelling out. Off in the Carbine Club and Val Dupree is slow to move. So is Candos and Magic Road. White out won the start. Big Gabby scrubbed hard is looking for the lead. Pillar of Salt is away like a flash. So is Mansell Bay followed by various White out sea captain going up towards the lead. In that bunch of star dancer followed closely by Espinosa, the heavyweight out deep. Further back, Baker's boy, Golden Cocktail, salivators a mile back early with Candos followed by Spliced who's trapped wide in the run to the first turn and dropping out last. Val Dupree.
three, Magic Road took over. Magic Road led by nearly two lengths to Sea Captain, who's crossing from an outside barrier. Big Gabby third, then Mansell Bay in the centre. Pillar of Salt on the outside, trapped three deep. Two lengths away, the heavyweight on the outside of Various. Another two to Espinosa and Star Dancer together. A gap to Baker's Boy, Golden Cocktail next on the outside of Val Dupree. Well back, Salivator's being pushed along past the 800 mark, followed by Candos, and last is spliced. 700 to go, Magic Road just the leader over Sea Captain. Big Gabby getting a perfect run third on the inside of Mansell Bay. Three deep pillar of salt, then the heavyweight followed by Espinosa, various star dancer. Further back, Baker's boy, Golden Cocktail, and then Val Dupree and Salivate flat to the boards in front of only two horses on the turn. He'll have to do something spectacular now, Salivate. Coming over the rise, Magic Road, the leader from Big Gabby, Mansell Bay, putting in a dash, getting a rails run as Espinosa as they top the hill. Espinosa got right through on the fence to tackle Mansell Bay, his various down the outside, but Espinosa burst to the lead, 100 out. Espinosa clear, Various is going after him. Espinosa in front, Various inch by inches, pegging him back. Espinosa hanging on too well, and he'll win. Espinosa by three quarters of a length to Various. Three lengths away, third, Mansell Bay, followed by star dancer Val Dupree, Big Gabby, then Golden Cocktail, Pillar of Salt, Magic Road, followed by Baker's Boy, Salivate, was a 100 to 1 pop from about the 800, and then Spliced and Candos, followed by the heavyweight, and C Captain has knocked up to finish at the tail of the field. Terrible run, Salivate. If he's not better than that, I'm a ballet dancer. Espinosa, the winner. Number 10, Espinosa, Kevin Moses to pay $6.30 and $2.20. Number 7, Various to pay $9.40. Number 14, Mansell Bay to pay a little better than $12. What happened to Salivate, Ken? I don't know, John, but that was certainly the right of the day. Kevin Moses there getting up on the inside on Espinosa, and he went to the line to hold off Various, who ran a surprisingly good race at the 1,600 metres. His head will just poke into screen there in a minute in the white colours, and the 50-1 to one shots run third, Mansell Bay in the yellow and the black. But uh, no doubt about the winner there. Uh, Kevin Moses on Espinosa, trained by Johnny Mara, stable mate of Golden Sword. The tip around was he was better uh, on top of the ground, but uh, it certainly didn't affect him today, the track being a little bit affected, and he got a beautiful run from his inside alley. Moses shot into the lead, and then it was good night, Nurse, put away the glasses, look at him stride away. Various made a gallant effort to run him down, but, uh, well, to be truthful, never quite looked like doing it. First, Espinosa. Second, Various. Mansell Bay has held on quite well for third with Fatty Vorton's tip, Prince of Prague, a distant fourth, and I won't mention about Pillar of Salt, who was tipped by Sturlo and myself. There's the winner returning to scale, Espinosa K. Moses, as we take a break before we come back with more on this afternoon of Surf and Turf. Race three, uh, the Carbine Club stakes there. Number 10, great one. win that one. Espinosa paid 6.30 and 2.20. Number seven, Various 9.40 and 14, Mansell Bay 12.30. OK, our hapless tipsters, let's have a look at how they went. Kenny, Fatty and Sturlow all in unison. Well, three good punters, very much out of luck so far.